ready to go in? Uh-huh. I can't understand you. Uh, I'm ready too. Have fun. Bye. Here we got a little hermit crab. It's huge. Yeah, that is a pretty big one. Bono <laughs> wants me to pick him up. Yeah. I don't want to bother him. Daddy, On the right-hand side of Cannon Beach here, there's the rock formations that come out and uh, we were out here the other day just exploring around and there's a lot of uh, little fish over here, a lot of sea life and plants and animals. Uh, today the tide is actually kind of low. Uh, this here was up to my knees uh, two days ago and it's probably going to be up there in a little bit but right now it's perfect for Lana yeah. to explore. What have we seen so far? Uh, we've seen a huge hermit crab and jellyfish we saw the other day. And a lot of little fish? Yeah. So we picked up this coconut the other day for Lana. Mm -hmm. How long have you been begging for a coconut? Uh, a month. Okay, well here, here's your coconut. <laughs> yeah, we need to cut it. So I've never actually opened a coconut. So in good millennial fashion, I went to YouTube to figure out how to do it. Should be pretty simple. Uh, everyone's showing, hey, you can smash it open with rocks, but we're a little bit more civilized than that. So we are going to smash it open uh, with a hatchet, the back side, not the front side. Uh, I've actually used this hatchet a couple of times, and no. the first once. time out, you've used it once. First time out, I actually sliced my finger and had to go to the ER. So uh, it's small, very sharp, uh, but and with that, so to bust open a coconut. Uh, Right in the middle, if you put a lot of pressure on it, it would actually snap right in half. So we're going to do it right over a bowl so that we don't lose any of the coconut milk on the inside. So we're going to hit it and then rotate and then keep going across. So I put on the protective cover just to make sure that I'm not cutting myself because, hey, I'm accident prone. So, and then what we need to I do is get a knife and we can start cutting the pieces out and they'll all come out a little bit at a time. That looks really hard to yeah. so just get a piece of coconut. Do you have to take the brown Here's stuff off? Here's a piece of coconut. Take a bite. Can I eat this one? Yep. What about me? I want to take this brown stuff. You've been waiting a long time for that, huh? visit at Key Largo Fisheries, which is a fresh seafood market. The boats come right in from the ocean and bring the food here. So we're checking it out for something to cook for dinner tonight. What's our catch for the day? The day? We got like three days worth of catch. A cut. Pounded shrimp, pounded tuna, and lobster tails. Yum! Just for the tuna, because I'm allergic to the other. Now come on. You can eat them. have them. Tonight we're going to be eating the lobster tails that we purchased the other day at the fish market. Um, of course, like everything, we had to turn to YouTube to get a little bit of advice on what to do. So we've got the lobsters up top. Actually, our friends, the Chans, gave us a little bit of advice as well because they've done it before. Uh, but this is, as you can see, beautiful, and we're hoping it's going to be delicious as well. Uh, 
So for the lobster itself, we simply have some butter that has some garlic in it with some parsley and some salt, a little bit of pepper as well and lemon juice. So we're just gonna put that right on. As it cooks, we're gonna do that a couple more times in the next few minutes. Lobster is perfectly cooked to 145 degrees. Sure, is that what is that what it said? Yeah. I think it's time to eat it. You don't like it? Mm-hmm. No? Uh-uh. That means more lobster for me. More for me. I like lobster. So tomorrow's Easter, but I have my bunny ears on. But anyway, we're gonna dye some Easter eggs. Oh yeah? How many Easter eggs we got to dye? Ten. Only ten? You need like 50,000. Is that enough for everybody? Yeah, probably not. Ready? Mm -hmm. How many more minutes? Uh, I think two. Four. Five. So mine is ready now. Do you like it? Beautiful. Now you can eat it later. Or the traps and eat it. I'm gonna see if your egg's ready, okay? The girls finished up dyeing their eggs and left me two different eggs, so that means it's my turn to color some. Of course, I like getting a little bit creative, trying to not submerge the egg completely so that I can then color the other half another color. For today's adventure, we are going kayaking through the mangroves, the aisles. What is it? I don't know. The, the trails. They're going to give us trails, trail maps right up here. Uh, we've rented two double kayaks. AC has his own double, and we can fit three in each of them. So we're good to go for eight people, right? We hope so. Musical kayaks. We're going to play musical kayaks throughout the day. And supposedly we're going to be able to go snorkeling off of the kayaks because the water is going to be really beautiful. You guys ready to go? Yeah. It's so cool already. So cool already? You guys going to join us? Oh no, this doesn't, oh 
Jeez. Okay, I gotta turn this off. For our last big adventure down here in the Keys, we are going snorkeling today because we actually leave tomorrow. We saved it for the very last well, day. Well, we tried to get in earlier, but the water conditions and the wind were so choppy that they said uh, they no novice snorkelers, no beginner snorkelers, no children, strong swimmer. So today yesterday is, and today have been calm and beautiful. The forecast looks awesome. Not a cloud in the sky, which means we should have maximum visibility in the water. Yeah. So we are getting on Encounter, this little boat right over here, right behind us. Uh, it's gonna take us out 35 minutes to the coral reef here at John Pennekamp State, State Park. Um, should be gorgeous. They say there's a lot of wildlife, well, fish. Yeah, they're fish wildlife. Out there, so we're gonna have some fun. I think they're all going up, so you wanna just go outside? starting to recover really nicely. What you guys can do to help us help our coral reefs, again, avoid touching them with your hands, avoid kicking them with your fins, and absolutely no standing on them at any time. at our snow grill location. Unfortunately, this camera is not waterproof, so you don't get to see any of the amazing things that we're gonna see, but AC does have an underwater camera that we're gonna use to record. So hopefully you can see some of that. Yeah, I 
There's a little bit in there. We're alive. How was it? We had a lot of fun today on our snorkel tour. A little bit of fun. <laughs> He had the most fun, I think. No, we did not expect our girls to get out into open water and be totally freaked out. They're awesome in the pool. They do They're great really on, good on the shore. They're great swimmers, but something about that open water and the weight, like there wasn't, it was pretty calm. But it really stressed them out. So they had a shorter time in the water. He got to go see the statue of, of Jesus. The, the Christ. Yeah, so it was it was good. It was a great boat ride. The water was beautiful. Yeah, so compared it was to a good what end. you get uh, just at the beach here at John Penican State Park, the water further out at the Coral yes. Reef was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, still, visibility wasn't perfect. There, it, it still was a little bit murky, but it was a lot of fun being out there. Uh, but Dad, yeah, this is gonna do it for our two weeks here at John Penican State Park in the Keys. Tomorrow we leave and we drive straight up to Virginia, but we've been camping with our friends the Chans yeah, for around six weeks over the last couple months and so it's sad to leave them. We don't have plans to meet up again yet. We don't know when we'll see them again at this no. point. So it's kind of sad to say goodbye for now. Um, we're gonna wrap up and have dinner with them. It's Easter today so we're celebrating that a little bit and just having a last hurrah before we go separate ways for a while. Yeah, we're making our way to Virginia to my hometown for a few weeks and then we'll keep going around from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you on the road. Amazing, amazing. What's it got?